So about five years ago, we got this Samsung front-loading uh, washing machine. And it doesn't have to be just for Samsung, although there's going to be a few Samsung-specific things, I think, that we cover here. Uh, and my wife absolutely loves this, and I think it's a great machine. Uh, but for those of you with front-loaders, know that eventually they just start to get a little stinky. And so I followed all the instructions and went online and tried to figure out what was uh, really going on and why it was smelling so bad. Uh, and, but then I was able to actually find something that was causing it to smell. So let me cover everything that needs to be done in order to, to get the smell not to, to, to go away. So the first thing that we need to do is just down here, there's a clean out. And I mean, it says right here that you need to clean out every two months. And the reason for that is, is that there is water that is left in the tub after every single wash. So it never actually fully empties. So we need to go in here and pull this little tube out. There's a little thing right here and drain this nasty water out. I've got a little container that's right here. And we're going to go ahead and let that drain out for a little bit. Uh, it'll take a while for all the water to go out of there. Once the water is, is, is fully drained out, I'll show you something else that needs to be done in there as well. So I gave it about 20 minutes or so and came back. It's still dripping some water, but it's not bad right now. Um, this is really just sneaky, nasty, funky water that we have in here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to just move this away. And inside of here is another plug and, that we're going to pull out. And there's a little filter that's in here. And this is, this is just vile. It's just, it's completely nasty. Uh, I'm going to wipe this down run it under the spout for a while, clean it all out, and uh, before I put it back in. So I cleaned out the little filter right here, and something I wanted to point out what I found inside of there. Obviously dumped the water out as well. That water was smelling so bad I had to go dump it off camera. Uh, but this right here, this little nasty hairball thing, was inside of there as well, and I just stuck my finger in there and pulled it out. So what we do is we just screw this back in put this back on there's a little clip that's in here that holds this thing in place and then we put the lid back on so the next thing that I do has to do with inside of here so this is the thing that with everything else that I found out how to do and I figured this out on my own. I couldn't find this in any, any manual. I don't know if this is specific to the Samsung or what, but inside of this gasket right here, you'll see there's it's just nasty funk in there. There's supposed to be a plug right here that lets things out, but unfortunately, well, if you, you'll see that, that was just from scraping it on here. This stuff smells so bad, and I can pretty much guarantee you that the vast majority of the smell that you have in your washer is from this little area right here. So... This is difficult to do on camera, but there's just junk that fills up in here, and we just really have to get in here and just scrub it out. Just nastiness. It smells so bad. It's that concentrated smell of the, just the, the nastiness that your, your front motor smells of. So I just got to really work to get in here. The towel in here. I'm going to rinse this off. So for the final thing I used to clean is I use the actual cleaning mode which is called pure cycle on this particular Samsung if you don't have a pure cycle mode you could still do basically the same thing uh, I also am a huge fan of using distilled vinegar in here no it will not make your clothes smell like vinegar but this does get rid of that nasty smell so I just take the vinegar and if you remember where all the nastiness was I'll just pour a bunch in there uh, the instruction manual says that you don't need to, to do anything with pure mode uh, but I will go ahead and just dump a bunch of vinegar in the tub as well and then I'll turn this on and I'll just do a pure a pure cycle on here you have to hold the button down so it's two hours long and this is designed to actually clean 
the machine itself. There's not going to be any sort of clothes in here. You can't run it with any clothes in here. Uh, but if you don't have a pure cycle mode, that's fine. Just put it on your most heavy duty, uh, hottest temperature, a uh, hot, hot mode, and go from there. Hope this was helpful for you.